take a bite towards health. The tale of two bacteria will help you understand the connection between nutrition and oral health. What does the word bacteria make you think about? Disease? Germs? Bad breath? Maybe you are reaching for your antibacterial mouthwash right now. You're right, bacteria play a huge role in oral disease, but also in health. Like the rest of your body, your mouth has harmful and beneficial bacteria that make up your specific microbiome. You have over 700 species of bacteria in your mouth, and like you, they all have favorite foods and need nutrients to survive. Meet Bob, a fast-eating bacteria that loves sugar and carbohydrates. He craves candy, soda, crackers, bread, and pasta. This is Betty, a slow-eating bacteria that thrives on fibrous foods, protein, and fat. Oral disease such as cavities, erosion, inflammation, and lesions can cause pain, sensitivity, and bleeding. The link between these conditions and your health is bacteria and your diet. So let's explore how Bob and Betty's eating patterns impact your oral health. Cavities. Despite routine brushing, flossing, and fluoride treatments, increased sugar consumption has contributed to the rise in cavities. About 25% of young children, 50% of adolescents, and more than 90% of adults have cavities. You already know that sugary drinks, like soda, contribute to cavities. It's a trade-off that many are willing to make. Let's look at the relationship. Sugar plus bacteria equals acid. Acid on teeth causes cavities. Not only does Bob create acid when you feed him his favorite foods, after eating, the pH of your saliva drops and becomes acidic for over 20 minutes. If consuming sugar is a frequent habit, fast eaters like Bob multiply rapidly, producing too much acid and take calcium from your teeth. Bingo! Cavities. Erosion. Dental erosion or loss of tooth structure from acid is another common dental condition affected by diet quality, habits, and overall health. A pH of 5.5 is considered the critical pH in the mouth for tooth damage. Acids from the body such as reflux and acids from dietary sources such as citrus and carbonation lead to erosion over time. Like cavities, the frequency of exposure of certain foods, even carbonated water, contribute to dental erosion and weak teeth that are susceptible to Bob's breakdown and sensitivity. If Bob and Betty's favorite foods are paired, the pH is balanced and less breakdown occurs. Your mouth is an ecosystem of bacteria that live in harmony with your teeth. Teeth depend on vitamins A, D, and K from your diet to replenish calcium and repair damage from fast-eating bacteria, like Bob. Consuming a balanced diet increases Betty's strength and decreases risk of disease. Inflammation If your gums ever bleed when you brush or floss, you are familiar with inflammation. To fight off pathogens, like Bob and his friends, the body's immune cells flood tissues, leading to inflammation. Gums that bleed too much are a sign of excess inflammation, or gum disease, which can lead to chronic periodontal disease. An imbalance of the microbiome can negatively impact the jawbone and gums, leading to gum diseases that often go unnoticed and affect about 40% of adults 30 years and older. If not managed, periodontal disease can lead to tooth loss, which will ultimately affect chewing function, dietary intake, and nutritional status. A diet rich in Betty's favorite foods contain antioxidants essential to maintaining the immune response and fighting off free radicals from the environment and stress that contribute to inflammation, attachment loss, and oral lesions, such as ulcers, and more significantly, oral cancer. When sugary foods and beverages are consumed less often, there is more room to include a variety of nutrient-rich foods full of fiber and water in your diet. When it comes to what you bite, chew, and swallow, your choices have long-lasting effect on your mouth and body. Unhealthy eating patterns can affect oral health 
including cavities, erosion, inflammation, and lesions, due to the inability of the immune response to defend against bacterial invasions. Poor oral health can alter food choices and lead to chronic diseases, such as diabetes or heart disease. Food has the power to balance your oral microbiome and is your mouth's best medicine. When your mouth is healthy, the rest of your body will follow. Visit your dentist. Your hygienist can assess your risk for cavities, erosion, and inflammation based on your eating patterns, and if needed, refer you to a dietitian for further assessment. Work with your hygienist today to take a bite towards health.